You know, once a month you get that little envelope in the mailbox and you just kind of cringe whether you want to open it, your electric bill. Well, there's ways that you can uh, make that bill go down and we want to start off with maybe getting your home audited, not, not by the tax people, but by Mississippi Power. How you doing? Armand, is, uh, you are a residential auditor. Yes, sir, I am. Well, tell me what that means. Well, what it is, is Mississippi Power will come up with an energy efficiency program and when customers call and want their house audited, I come out and just basically show customer ways to save on electricity bill. Um, we come into the home and just basically pinpoint some things that they can do to help lower the cost on the electricity. All right, well, let's talk. We're going to talk to Randy in just a little bit about inside the home. Well, let's talk about outside the home. Whenever you come out here, what are some of the things that you look for? Um, we look at the um, structure, the ventilation, um, we look at uh, windows and doors, mm -hmm. um, we look at you know, the inside the attic, make sure they have proper insulation level and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, proper insulation levels, there's so many different types of insulation. Right. What do you recommend as far as a, a level of insulation? We recommend um, R30, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's up 10 inches. Okay. But more is better, um, but that's what we really normally recommend is the R30. Now, um, as far as the exterior of the home, you mentioned that. What are things that you look for? You mentioned windows and doors. Uh, what are things that you check with those? Um, we make sure that they are caulk, uh, weather strip real good, because mm -hmm. um, you want to stop airflow. Uh, we also look at the uh, ventilation, making sure the ho house is uh, well ventilated, um, make sure they have gable vents, soft vents, uh, passive vents, any type of ventilation to get the heat out of the attic because that's the life, uh, the longevity of uh, shingles lasting a little bit longer. Really? If the house is well ventilated. Yes, sir. I thought the life of a shingle was determined by the weather outside. Uh, no, sir. The house has to be um, ventilated um, real well. Goes to show how much I know about construction because I would have never known mm. that. But uh, you, you mentioned the windows and the doors, uh, and it, it's easy, really, uh, for you to go in and check, make sure if there's any ventilation or, or any air moving through there, and recommend to them what they need to do with that. Yes, sir. Um, we recommend low EE windows. If they have single pane windows, we recommend the low EE windows, but the high grade windows are, um, are better, but mm -hmm. we recommend just the low EE. Um, we talk to them about just stopping airflow, um, caulking around the windows, uh, have, or weather stripping around the doors, mm -hmm. and some things like that. To just stop, you know, stop the airflow. And, and over a period of time, you'll we'll see, see that. The, uh, yes, sir. You'll, you'll see the savings on there. Yes, sir. Anything else in particular that you can recommend? Um, no, um, pretty much covered. Recover it. It. Yes, sir. But that, I mean, that, and that's one of the great things is every house is going to be different. different. Yes, sir. There. Yes, sir. And, and habits as well. You know, mm -hmm. customer habits are different also. But the main thing is you want to do is just stop in airflow around the windows, doors, make sure the house is well ventilated um, and having proper insulation. Level. OK. All right. Armand, thank you so yes, much. Sir. That's what you do for the exterior. Now we've got to go in and talk to Randy, find out some of the things that you can do on the inside of your home to really cut down on that electric bill. You know, when it comes to really saving energy in your home, your biggest thing starts right here, this little box on the wall, which is the thermostat. Randy, how are you? Doing well, Jim, and you? I'm doing well. Randy's another one of the energy auditors that they have here at Mississippi Power. And let's talk about this little box right here. Yes. Let the thermostat is the most powerful weapon you have in the home to control your energy usage. It counts to 52% of your electric bill. Right. Okay, right. so if you want to make an impact on your bill, we all hear about turning off our lights and energy store appliances and all that, but you want to make a big impact, it is with the thermostat. I've done over 1,300 audits, and one thing that I've found is most of my customers have no idea what a thermostat actually does. Okay. Thermostat basically does three things. Number one, tells you the temperature in the room at the thermostat. Okay. Number two, it tells the unit when to turn on, tells the unit when to turn off. What it doesn't do is control the temperature of the air coming out of the vent. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, if I want to make it hotter in the house, the fact that I take it up to 80 degrees does not make it get hotter faster. I'm just telling the unit, you continue to run till you get to 80 degrees in the house and then it'll cut off. Just the opposite in the in the uh, cooling system. In the yeah. cooler season, when you lower the temperature, it is not going to get colder faster. It's just going to run longer. The longer your unit has to run, the more money you spend. So it's all about limiting the time on the runtime on the equipment. Right. We recommend setting your thermostat at 78 in the summer, 68 in the winter. 
you manage that. The unit will manage itself by keeping the temperature in the house where you want it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do what I call chasing the thermostat. Running the temperature up and running it down, turning it on, turning it off. Let the thermostat work for you and it'll save you, it'll save you money. Okay. Um, you know, another thing is most people ignore inside their heating and air closet. Some people have it in the attic, a lot of people have it in a house just like this where uh -huh. it's in the closet. This area should be sealed. If it's not sealed, you can pull attic heat down in, into, your, into, yeah. into your system, yeah. right? So you don't want to introduce attic heat, which can be 130, 140 degrees into your system. No. You want this system sealed in here to help your unit operate more efficiently. So if you open this door to your system and it's hot and, you know, right. then you got a problem. Correct. You're pulling hot attic air either in through here. I've seen it where the walls are open. It's pulling it directly into the return. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that's another thing here. We always want to make sure that we change our filter. Okay? Yeah. You want your filter clean. Your filter... Let's see. Oh, there we go. If you've got a dirty filter, oh. your system cannot get the air that it needs. And your, your unit needs the air. You always want to make sure when you install your filter that the air flow is going this way. A lot of them have a little arrow. Mm -hmm. So put that in, let that filter do its job, and help keep your system running the way it should. And you should change that filter about once, once a, month. a month. About once a month. Yes. And yeah. another important thing you were telling me, closing your doors in your house. You know, some people say, well, I'll keep this part cooler because I'm going to close all the doors in the rest of the house. That's not right. That is correct. When your unit's running, it's wanting to move all the air in the house. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you've got a three-ton unit, it wants to move 1,200 CFM of air. The air that it wants is the air that's coming out of each of these rooms. If I close these doors off, it cannot get that air back. So it has to get it from somewhere else. You know where it gets it from? It gets it from outside of the house. So it starts pulling outside air into the house. Why in the summertime do we want to draw 90 degree air in the house? No. Or why do we want to draw 40 degree air in the house? Mm -hmm. You, when it's running, it's costing you money, let it do what it's designed to do and don't hurt it by starving it for air. All right, we got about 30 seconds left. So anything else you want to mention real quick? You know, I want to mention lighting real quick. One of the, uh, another common mistake I see is the difference between watts and lumens. Mm -hmm. Electricity is measured in watts, light is measured in lumens. So we're all cognizant of changing our light bulbs. So mm -hmm. let's, when you go to shop for bulbs, you want high lumens, low watts. That's the best bang for your buck. High lumens, low watts saves you money on your light bill. Randy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. If you'd like some more information, maybe schedule you a home energy audit from Mississippi Power. Numbers on your screen, so is the website. Give them a call.